Hey there friendos, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Matt and we are back with some more Marvel Future Fight and as you could see from uh, the trailer, we are back and we are ready for Thor 4. So, as we all knew, Thor is coming with his new uniform for the movie Thor Love and Thunder and as expected, as we just saw in the teaser there, he is getting his tier 4, presumably. That is what the T for you uh, little posters in the background were hinting at. And we kind of know a little bit more about this uh, upcoming update due to this preparation event that's going on at the moment. So we can see that there is a couple of things going on in game right now and will be happening over the next week. And we have seen that they've got this new method of doing things. Uh, I don't know if this is more for engagement as opposed to just people just logging in quickly doing things for a couple of minutes and then logging out again. But where uh, in terms of you can't just do it every day, you have to do some things like every day to make sure that you get all the tokens, uh, such as doing 30 timeline battles as opposed to just like, you know, one timeline battle a day or one timeline win a day or something like that. Uh, we have a gold mission, some combined Uber, relay battle world. And it says here, yeah, the mighty Thor which refers to Jane Foster, which is why it says and her lover, in case you didn't know, uh, are back with new looks. So yeah, we know what's coming. We all knew that Thor was coming. It's, it's never a surprise when the MCU movies come along that we get a new update. And it's it's been much long awaited, uh, much needed. And frankly, Thor has never really, really pushed through that barrier uh, there was a time when Thor Ragnarok was really important, uh, more so for the effects and the uh, or the free items that we could get from his his uniforms. But even Herald of Thor never really pushed the the boundaries of meta uh, the way he could, and certainly based on his popularity, especially ever since the movies, should be doing. Uh, so you can see we only have an obelisk on him at the moment waiting to see what happens with this movie and we all know that Jane Foster will be getting hers uh, I haven't actually finished building her up yet so I might do that this week actually um, I'm not sure if it actually says in her info it, for, certainly from the comics we know that she's known as the Mighty Thor uh, is it? yeah it's in her bio as well so it'll be interesting to see in the movie. I haven't seen any spoilers. I've managed to keep away from all of that kind of stuff. I did see some of the red carpet photos. So I know that um, Jamie Alexander's Sif is back in it. So that's very cool. Uh, I don't know if they're going to lean heavily into the whole cancer storyline arc in the movie. Um, but yeah, so it'll be interesting to see if we get a new uniform for Sif. Hopefully so. Um, she's pretty pretty good now so it's, it's kind of annoying that in a way if she does get one though she does deserve it but if it, if it takes away from this new uniform where she's finally actually you know of some use and of course Valkyrie I expect we'll be seeing a brand new uniform for her as the king of Asgard uh, again it'll be interesting to see if they keep her support or if they give her more of a role of herself uh, in terms of like DPS. However, we also know that because Thor is getting his tier 4, it also means more Book of Ashanti, Universal, and more stuff to grind for. So, for those of us who've already sort of working our way through, as you can see, I've maxed out on Blast Books at the moment. But because we aren't getting very many drops in terms of the old Soul of the Faulty, and you can see I have one at the moment, just because I've been working on Iron Man's gears. And I only got them to 27. So yeah, it's going to take a while um, before we see, or before I see Thor at tier 4. And I think that's why they're really pushing the tier 4 advancement pack in the shop. Which is, uh, well, I mean, it's it's Marvel Future Fight. They're there to make money. And I can't really, I guess, begrudge a free-to-play game from trying to make money somehow. Because uh, that's how they keep the game running. Uh, so you can see my Thor is pretty much built out. Everything except attack speed and dodge is maxed out. I haven't really gone too far in terms of getting him ready. Like I say, I've still got the obelisk. Uh, he's bound to get a new artifact, so haven't bothered with anything there just at the moment. 
and also because we don't know if the new uniform well we don't know for a start if a he's going to get two uh, although they seem to have stopped that now we had a brief flirtation with that of doing two uniforms a synergy uniforms but I'm not sure if we're going to get those back um, now we are getting a t presumably we're getting a tier 3 Jane Foster uh, and we're getting a tier 4 Thor Odinson so it'll be interesting to see if we get one of them more PvP focused and one more PvE focused Thor has never really been PvP focused in any of his uh, incarnations to date. Um, he may have been a little decent for Alliance Conquest or Alliance Tournament, I don't know, I don't really bother with those game modes. But certainly we've had Iron Man and Moon Knight so far, both PvE. So whoever that first PvP tier 4 is going to be is going to have a huge advantage um, over other teams because it will literally be the first one. Um, so we are still kind of waiting and hoping. It'll be interesting to see if they give it to, to Thor, who's never really been that way before, or if they are waiting for someone else to give that to. Um, presumably, after Thor is universal, the next one will be a speed character. So it'll be interesting to see who that's going to be. Um, not really sure, because we kind of missed the boat with Spider-Man, unless they do something for the Spider-Man more fun edition that's been announced recently is coming to cinemas in September and then we may finally get to see Green Goblin tier 3 but anyway that's uh, that's about it for now really yeah just a small teaser don't forget to, to be clearing your events every day in order to get your tokens and I'll catch you next time bye for now